Hey everybody, Retro Pie Guy here. Today we're gonna to do a full setup demo and review of the Hyperkin Trooper 2 Premium Controller. You can see here that this controller was modeled after the controls for the Atari 2600. However, it does have some advancements from that original controller. Uh, there's some additional buttons up here. There's also start and select on the back side, as well as some shoulder buttons up here at the top. So you aren't limited to just Atari games on here. You can play some other ones as well. So we're gonna get into this. We'll take a closer look at the controller. I'll demo how to set this up on RetroPie, and we'll jump into a couple of games to show you exactly how well this works. First, let's take a closer look at this controller. You can see here that we do have our joystick. It's pretty much exactly the same as the original Atari 2600 setup. Up here, we have two buttons instead of just the one that came stock on the Atari 2600 control. So with this extra button, we do get some upgraded access to additional games that we can play on here. We aren't limited to just playing Atari 2600 games here. Also at the top, you'll notice we have some shoulder buttons, which is really nice. Um, down at the bottom, right below the Hyperkin logo, we also have our start and select buttons. So again, we can use these in RetroPie, which is great because we can assign our hotkey function to select, and then we would just hit both of these together in order to exit ROMs. So the other nice thing about this is it is wired in, but the cable here is 10 feet long, so we don't have to be you know, directly sitting in front of our console or our TV or monitor. We can be a little bit more mobile with this and have a little bit more free range. So I always like that because I hate having to sit or be super close to my console. I'd like to be able to, you know, have a little bit more freedom. So with this additional length on the cable, that is definitely possible. So we're gonna jump into using this on RetroPie. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up with your RetroPie system, show you how to map everything, and then we'll get into some gameplay demos. All right, so in order to set this controller up with RetroPie, all we need to do is connect it via the USB port on our Raspberry Pi. Once we do that, we'll come to our welcome screen like this if we're setting this up for the first time with this controller. If you're using a RetroPie card that's already been set up with additional controllers, then you would just go to your main menu, drop down to input configuration, and then you'd be able to advance into this mapping process. So for setting this up for the first time, you'll notice that it says one gamepad detected here. So we're just gonna hold down any button on our controller in order to advance into the mapping page. So you see that it flashes Trooper V2 there, and then it brings us right into our configuring gamepad page. So now in order to map this, we're just gonna follow along with the prompts that apply to us. So for D-pad up, we're gonna use our joystick and just push it to the up position. We're gonna do the same thing for D-pad down. We're gonna push our joystick down. Same thing, D-pad left, push the joystick to the left. And same thing for the right, push it to the right. So now for start, we're gonna go up here and hit our start button. Same thing for select, hit the select button. And now for A and B, you can do this with either of these buttons, you're just assigning them to either function. I find that the left one works best for A, the right one works best for B, at least for the Atari 2600 games, which is the collection that I'm gonna be most playing with this particular controller. So I'm gonna do the top left as A, top right as B, X and Y we don't need, so we're just going to bypass those. In order to bypass those, you're just gonna hit any button you've already configured. So I'm just gonna hit my B button for each of these options and it just skips over those. So for left shoulder, we're gonna go up here to our shoulder button on the left-hand side, hit that. Same thing for the right shoulder, hit the right shoulder on our controller. So now left trigger, right trigger. We actually don't need any of these functions until we get down to the bottom for hotkey enable. So I'm just gonna hold down just like we did before to bypass these, any button we've already configured, which at this point is every button that we've already um, configured on here. So I'm just gonna bypass all of these and go right down to the last option, which is hotkey enable. All right, and so for hotkey enable, we're just going to assign that to select and we'll hit select. And now to confirm all of this, we're just gonna hit our A button, which is in this case, the way we did it, the top left button. It'll load for a couple seconds and then it should bring us right into our main page and it does, perfect. So you can see just by using our joystick, we're able to navigate through our collections. So I'm gonna actually jump into the Atari 2600 collection here and we'll demo a couple games. So I'm going to jump into, um, Let's see, let's do Yar's Revenge. That's probably one of my favorite Atari 2600 game.
All right, so next we're gonna jump into Berserk. All right, so now that we've walked through a couple Atari 2600 games with this controller, I'm going to show you how this works with something like Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo Entertainment System collection. So we can play games like this because we have the additional buttons, and we have more than enough to accommodate games in the Nintendo Entertainment System collection. So I'm going to jump in here and demo this for you. And remember, you can configure this any way you want. So you can have your A button on the left or on the right. It doesn't make a difference, really. All right, so you can see here I'm no good at this game, but it does work super well with this particular controller. All right, so we're going to jump out now, and I'll talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about this particular Hyperkin Trooper 2 controller. All right, so now that we walked through the entire layout here in terms of the controls, we also did a demo on how to set this up and map it with RetroPie. And we also jumped into a couple different gameplay demos to show off exactly how well this works. So coming out of all that, I have to say this is a phenomenal controller. I absolutely love it. I think that it is the most authentic uh, Atari 2600 controller out there on the market today. It has you know, the same look and feel of the original, but it does have those upgraded buttons up here. So you have additional buttons there. You have the start select at the bottom and the shoulder buttons at the top. So all of that enables you to play additional collections, not just the Atari collections. Um, I, you definitely need them for RetroPie because you need that start and select to get in and out of games too. So just across the board, the functionality of this controller is great. And um, you saw me playing the Atari 2600 games and it just works so well there. It's pretty much the exact same feel as the original Atari 2600 controller. Um, the only thing that's a little bit different is jumping into additional games like the um, Nintendo Entertainment System collection. You saw that we did the Super Mario Brothers gameplay demo with this and it was a little bit awkward, but it definitely got you through. Uh, my skill level on that game is subpar at best, so you know, the reason that I died in like uh, 10 seconds was not because of the controller. It's purely off of my awful skill level there. But um, that being said, you could definitely use something like this for that collection. You could even use it for some of the Super Nintendo games. Um, you know, some of the games in there are gonna be a little bit too advanced just because you don't have the X and the Y buttons available on here, but some of them don't even use X and Y, so. Um, and you could even remap to the shoulder buttons up at the top if you really wanted to get into using this. But I think that the majority of people are going to be using this controller for Atari games. And for Atari games, it's just a home run across the board. I think that it's just absolutely the best controller you could use for that. You can obviously use any gamepad controller or even an arcade stick for Atari games, but it's not the exact same feel. You know, this is definitely a better feel in my opinion. I actually use my wall-mounted arcade cabinet here for um, Atari 2600 games. I'm in that collection actually pretty often. I, I just love the classics. And while it works really well on there, the joysticks for an arcade setup are definitely looser than that of a Atari 2600 controller. So, you know, it's, it is a slightly different feel. I find that maneuvering characters on that is a little bit harder than on here, just because this is a tighter joystick. And, um, you know, it just has a different feel to it. So if you're used to the Atari 2600 
Um, you're probably not gonna like it on an arcade stick. You're gonna like it more on something like this. So for that reason, I would definitely recommend having this. It's super cheap and affordable to get, and it just improves your overall experience playing those original Atari 2600 games. So um, I absolutely loved it. I think the quality is amazing on here. Just everything about this just works so well. And if you've seen my reviews in the past on controllers, you know that I'm not typically a wired controller guy. I like my Bluetooth or wireless controllers, but with this being um, a 10 foot cable on here, you don't have an issue of having to be super close to your setup at all times. You can get a little bit more mobility. You can get comfortable on the couch if you're you know, within 10 feet of your console or TV or monitor. So for that reason, I, I, again, just really highly recommend this controller. The only thing that I would say is um, not problematic, but you know, could be improved upon is the feet at the bottom here. If you're gonna be playing this at a desk anyways, if you're playing this on a couch or you know, relaxing in a chair or in, you know, and you're holding with one hand and doing the controls with the other, then it's perfectly fine. But I was playing at a desk today primarily because I'm doing this video, but putting this on a desk and just using it like that, it does slide around a little bit. And it's probably because the joystick is tighter here, which again is totally accurate and totally authentic to that of the original 2600 controller. So nothing wrong with that by any means, but when maneuvering the joystick here, it does slide across the desk a little bit. So I did have to steady it with my other hand. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, a lot of the arcade sticks out there nowadays have little suction cups or um, at least like a material that grips the uh, desktop a little bit better so it doesn't slide quite as much. With this one, it does grip a little bit, but it doesn't grip super well because obviously this is small and you know it is top heavy here so it does kind of rock back and forth so that's like the only thing that i would say and i'm being super nitpicky to even mention that so you know the majority of people are going to be holding this in one hand or steadying it in the other and having absolutely no issues so it's really not a big deal whatsoever but worth mentioning if you are going to be super picky and you know for the sake of this review you know, I definitely have to try and point out every little aspect to things. So uh, all in all, this is a, just a phenomenal controller. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great addition to any base collection if you're going to be jumping into these original Atari games. So um, definitely don't hesitate to purchase one of these if you come across one. If you're interested in purchasing one, check the description below. I'll put a direct link in there to pick one of these up on Amazon. They're super affordable and you definitely won't be disappointed. So that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different product reviews like this, uh, gameplay demos, tutorials, just a lot of different stuff based around retro gaming. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.